continuing to breathe, drawing the breath into the body, deeply, deeply, Divine Mother, Divine Father, Ascended Masters, Archangels, Guides, Guardians, I come on behalf of this group and all the individuals in the group. May divine order and perfect harmony come to all of us and a deep, deep connection to the Mother Earth. And so continuing to breathe, we're going to start oming again. Maybe you're still oming. I hope you are in breathing. We'll do three more to open this up. Keep the palms in your lap. Bring the chin mudra together. That's your pointer finger and your thumb. And drawing that breath in, let's tone. Ready? Oh. 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 Twenty thousand eighteen invocation. Repeat if you know it. I face fear with the truth in my heart that love is the way I am love. I face fear with the truth in my heart that love is the way I am love. I face fear with the truth in my heart that love is the way I am love. I shine the light of my divine nature onto the shadows, illuminating my fears. I am divine love. I shine the light of my divine nature onto the shadows, illuminating my fears. I am divine love. I shine the light of my divine nature onto the shadows, illuminating my fears. I am divine love. In my heart, I know that fear cannot survive in the light of divine love. I am divine love. In my heart, I know that fear cannot survive in the light of divine love. I am divine love. In my heart, I know that fear cannot survive in the light of divine love. I am divine love. I face each day and this day with love and gratitude. Knowing that love is the most powerful force in the universe, I am love. I face each day and this day with love and gratitude. Knowing that love is the most powerful force in the universe, I am love. I face each day with love and gratitude. Knowing that love is the most powerful force in the universe, I am love. And continuing to breathe into the body, Focus on the air coming in through your nostrils and releasing through your nostrils. As you focus on that oxygen, watch your thoughts. Simply watch them and make the focus on the um, oxygen coming into the body, on the breath moving through the body, your main focus. Use this to begin to train the mind. I am... Michael Burning Bright, bringing the sword of truth and light. I am Michael, Michael Burning Bright, bringing the sword of truth and light. I am Michael, Michael, Michael Burning Bright, bringing the sword of truth and light. Representing the angelic force and archangels with you in this circle of light. I am Michael Burning Bright. The light is strong and the vibration of light is very powerful at this time. The portals that widened this morning at the exact moment of the solstice have been opening for a while and you have felt the difference. You have felt the difference of these portals and this energy. Many of you who are sensitives and many of you who are on this phone now have felt the energy, have felt the energy vibration in your bodies, particularly today, for example, your head may have felt like it was spinning or your balance may have felt off or you may have felt slightly nauseous or highly irritable. Emotions are high at this time. This particular solstice energy is very emotional. The emotional energy is culminating in the third dimension. Remember when the 
great master, St. Germain, began telling you in the last 18 months or so about the uh, completion of emotional karma and those emotional threaded patterns coming out of the psyche, coming out of the soul, coming out of the cell consciousness as well. And so as these emotional patterns move in large groups as well as individuals, in large experiences from all kinds of groups, racial groups, genetic groups, groups from different star systems, all kinds of emotional group energy, emotional group karmic energy is moving. And so there is a flow in each one of you, a flow that is a system, part of your system to help you release and when that flow comes energies fluctuate and so you begin to feel things that are uncomfortable you begin to feel things that are irritating you begin to feel things that are um, deeply emotional and the pattern that has been drilled into you through your society and through programming by other forces that are not as interested in the uh, opening of consciousness and the opening to love other forces on the planet of which we will address more in, uh, in, in, in later in this transmission other forces have their own agenda to keep individuals in a state of slavery and so the human race is moving out of that state into its higher vibrational awareness of self into its higher vibrational awareness of love into the recognition that the way you are living physically does not work it is living in slavery even though perhaps you feel that your life is abundant and you have been supported richly you begin to notice and have begun to notice especially in the past 15 to 18 months or so that you are feeling bound by many of your um, physical things matter things, material things, that you are wishing to live simpler, that you want tiny homes and less stuff, that you are appalled by the amount of garbage that you are seeing visually that has been created in your oceans, that has been dumped on your mountains, that has been dumped into the Mother Earth. You are beginning to become aware of all of this stuff and having a realization that you no longer want it. The way you are living does not suit the vibration that you are feeling in your hearts and in your souls. There are buttons being pushed inside of each one of you. And some of those buttons have been stuck for a long time or stiff. Imagine going into an old clock tower and seeing gears that have not been moved in years. Perhaps they will need to be re-oiled before they can start to smoothly mesh and run together again. And so your tears and your heartbreak begins to open and oil the system. The heart chakra system has to be open to greatest capacity. And to open to greatest capacity, it often has to crack open. You who have been on your spiritual path for some time realize that there has been crackings or openings in your chakras before. On a massive level now, there is massive opening as these karmic patterns are releasing from the past. Karmic patterns of pain, of suffering, karmic patterns of depression, karmic patterns of fear, karmic patterns of um, physical suffering, starvation, lack, depression, and so on and so forth back to the training so those vibrations that wish you to stay in slavery have trained you to feel that it is important to move away from pain to overcome pain to not have pain to numb pain to be happy happy in a sense of oblivious laughter or not paying attention by giving your pain and the pain that you feel inside yourself time to be with it in acceptance with love you transform it you are understanding things on a new level at the same time the vibratory world the density of the third dimensional world is being affected by the vibratory world that is uplifting waves of ascension have gone through your planet in increasing um, 
time shifts, if you would, at increasing speed. And those waves seem to be changing things in the third dimension faster and faster. And so you see the breakdown as we have been reminding you, and those of you who have been aware have been watching, of these systems that were created out of fear base. And so those systems, um, as they fall apart, they cause chaos. The mind and the patterning within the human form is used to moving a certain way. When humans came into physical form and went to sleep, when humans came in and forgot, when humans stopped remembering that they were divine, humans had to have a system in the physical form, in the physiological form, that would create um, a protective, automatic protection. The reptilian brain inside all of you reacts in certain ways to fear-based phenomena to push you towards a reaction, to help you run from the woolly mammoth, to help you run from the thing that you fear. Okay, okay. At the same I'm time, you way need way to way be... At the same time, you need to be... At the same time, you need to be... Uh, at the same time, you need to be aware that this is a reactive system that's going off in your body constantly now. So there are triggers that are setting off this fear base and running adrenaline and chemicals through your body that confuse you, depress you, wear you out, make you irritable, tired, and so on and so forth. The things that help humanity come back into wholeness are being able to connect deeply with your spiritual nature being able to own your divine nature, being able to understand that you are divine and that true power lies in this vibration of the force of love, not this vibration of material force, overriding personalities, anger, military arms, bombs, so on and so forth. And so, this is the greatest thing to pay attention to, the greatest trick that goes on from the opposite force or the shadow forces is to trick you out of your own power. Breathing in and out of your body. I am Michael, burning bright, bringing to you the sword, the gift, the sword of truth and light holding your palms open tonight to receive. Receive the sword. Those of you who have received it before, reactivate the sword. If you activate it every day, that's great. Every moment, even better. Bring the sword into your consciousness, the sword of truth and light, the vibration that I give you now, tonight, in this light, the light sword, the light sword, conscious sword to cut away those fears, to protect you from collapsing into, uh, collapsing into despair, into pain, into sorrow. I am Michael Burning Bright, holding the palms up to receive. Just gently vibrate your palms, gently vibrating it, and start to feel the weight in the palm as I give to you in this transmission the sword of truth and light. Turn your palms towards the chakra, the place in your body that most needs it when you are complete with the transmission. Nine tones, each one of you, in your own speed, will complete your receiving of this sword of truth and light. Um, um,
Pay attention to where your palms go. That is, or those are, the chakras that need the light, that need the support. I am Michael Burning Bright. Call on me any time to bring in the light, to shed some light. I am Saint Germain, guardian of the violet flame. I am Saint Germain here to smile, to ask you to smile into your hearts, into your bodies. Smile and breathe in. There's a sense of joy and a sense of unity. You are moving towards that time and space. You are moving towards that time and space. The time and space in your reality. The time and space where you are coming into higher awareness. The physical part of you takes time to move up to that higher awareness. And yet it can happen in a second. Trust in this. As Michael said, those that wish to disempower you take the power from themselves. There are certain universal laws that this earth that you live on and you choose to live on, certain universal laws that work in a specific way. Some of those laws you might know as gravity. The law that we speak of, cause and effect, and the law of energy and energy in its duality or dual natures. There are different worlds when things are whole. In this particular world, there is a dualistic energy and a dualistic nature. At this time in your solar cycle, you are at the point where the sun is highest in this hemisphere, longest, and so you have your longest light days. At this point in your hemisphere, you are understanding the dual nature of light, as light brings up shadows. You have an opportunity now with this light that you are drawing in for the rest of your summer months to really look and shed light on the darkness within yourself. Do not get sucked into the darkness within the world because that darkness will take you out of your center. By staying present in your center, you keep the power within you. Because of the energy vibrations on the earth, the electromagnetic forces of energy, energy is magnetized towards energy. And so when you have someone who creates a great energy of darkness or a great energy of light, there is a collective energy around that. Just as the moths move towards the candlelight, Um, Just as bees collect around honey, so do thought forms and energy forms collect around strong thoughts and energies. And so if you have thoughts of depression and fear within you, they will be magnetized towards areas with great condensation or great, um, you know, great collections of this negativity. What happens when you get pulled out of your center is that you give your energy to that negativity. By resisting it, you feed it. By seeing it as awful, as terrible, as disgusting, it serves because it breaks open the heart. As Michael spoke of before, the heart chakras must crack open to draw greater light into them. That expands your heart vibration and expands your ability to live from the heart. That expansion space, the the cracking part, is painful. And the old pattern of moving away from painful, disgusting, dirty, hurtful subjects, shadows, keeps you from ever transforming the shadows. We hope you begin to understand this on some level. And so where there is a collection of hatred, which is basically spirits who have denied the light within themselves. We asked you in 2017 to practice for the year accepting your divine nature. Those of you who practice that, either consciously, especially consciously, or even unconsciously, are better able to face this time now where you are looking at fear in a new way, where you are facing your own fear within your own center. By staying in your center, you create a strong energy of light. You become a beacon of light, like a lighthouse in a dark body of water. And those who are 
seeking to activate the light within them are drawn towards your light just as those who let their fear get out of control are drawn towards the shadows. By facing it within yourself, you become stalwart. You become strong like the great trees on your planet. You root deeply into the whole healed, whole healed Mother Earth and you connect deeply and highly with the higher vibration. You then are able to change your own vibration and bring that vibration into the Earth. So the greatest illusion is that those who deny their own divinity, thus denying others, that those who seek to crush the light out in others have more power, that illusion is the illusion that has kept the earth from transforming. Not the earth itself, but the earthling. The earth itself is in the process of transforming. She is moving into her higher vibration and nothing of the lower vibration will ultimately be able to live on this earth. There will be physical destruction on the earth. <clears throat> Those of you who are light beings and begin to change physical matter, that is you, your cells, your thoughts, your vibrations, those of you who begin to change that, change the matter of the earth. Thus you are changing, and many of you are already changing the way the physical form looks. And so, do not focus on what is being shaken off. Focus on the core. Focus within yourself. Make the changes within yourself and in the immediate radiance around yourself. Let's look at a picture on the internet. Like a pebble in a pool, it affects energy. Depending on the purpose of that picture or the intention behind it, the vibration of that intention will give it a certain frequency where it will travel either on a light wave or a shadow wave, if this makes sense. If you are operating in the shadows, you will feel the vibration compounded as that shadow wave hits you. It will hit you rather than going through you. As you lighten, the shadow waves will go through you. You will be transparent to them. So. To the clairvoyant, we are speaking through now, the astral plane of the earth looks like there's tremendous shadows, channels of energy, waves of energy that are like smoke, like oily black smoke. So there is a transparency that can be seen through them. And those waves roll just like waves do in the ocean, curling and rolling and pulling and pushing. There's a tide to them. They move forward, they move back. Some days you will feel more energy, more negativity, more chills. Some days you will feel, depending on how you feel, you will feel these. You are feeling these waves. You may not be aware of them the way the clairvoyant aspect is aware of them. You may be aware of them. Your empathetic nature may feel a chill or as if a shadow has flown off you almost like a rabbit might feel when a hawk shadow flies over it, a fear. When you feel those fears, call on me, Saint Germain, the violet flame, call on Michael, Michael, burning bright and the sword. Say your invocation of fear not. Get used to practicing strengthening your core. Your core exists, the light exists within you, and you are here in this circle. You are walking on this earth with the awareness that you have, with your different practices and your different prayers and your different hopes and dreams, because there is a part in you that is swelling and ascending in that vibration of light. It is like those seeds that you're beginning to see pop all around you in this summertime with the increase of light and the warmer days from the sunlight those uh, seeds are beginning to sprout and push up through the earth. They will bloom. They will bear fruit. So you are doing the same. The light is triggering within you the ascension waves. So just as there are those oily waves moving through the fourth dimension, there are also waves of light. Just like in a thunderstorm, which often happens in these summer months, the two 
fronts of energy move and they create a tremendous cleansing. And during the process of that cleansing, there is great booming thunder. There is lightning streaking through the sky. This is what you are experiencing on your earth. These two forms meeting and changing and clearing. They're meeting, just as they meet in the weather and change and go through the great storm, leaving negative ions and brighter, clearer, cleaner energy after the storm. These storms are doing the same. When you get connected to only the physical aspect of them, when you only see the material cracking or breaking, you can break within yourself as well. You can go into depression, into fear, into sorrow. And so you must strengthen the inner. Now then, the challenge of strengthening the inner is finding those things, those tools that can shift the body out of that reptilian mind, out of running away from that woolly mammoth, whatever that monster is that chases you individually. Human beings share things in common. In common, they all need love and affection. You all need love and affection. You all are also triggered by fears, the memory of disconnecting from the light self, connecting from that self that was your divine nature. It still exists within you, just like the pattern is within those seeds, when the warmth hits it and the soil is right and is nurtured and nourished, begins to break through. You are like those seeds breaking through. Some of your plants are rather delicate and you must do things that will strengthen those plants so that they are not trampled by your fears or your connection to the waves of fear that move through the etheric plane in the fourth dimension. I am Saint Germain, guardian of the violet flame. The greatest message that I wish to give to you is to fear not. Love is the greatest power in the universe. I am love. I am made of love. You are love. Develop that love within you. Recognize it. Find the things that elevate your consciousness. Words, deeds, practices, breathing, yoga, meditation, contemplation, prayer, managing the mind, training the mind. The mental body has a great capacity for unlimited change and awareness. Your physical form is made up of the same patterns of the physical earth, and it is impermanent. By the same token, you can change the vibratory pattern of the material world. This is what I wish you to think about. I am Saint Germain, guardian of the violet flame. My gift to the planet in this age is transmutation, the taking of what is and the changing, the alchemical aspect of burning away the dross and bringing forth the divine seed, the perfection, the beauty, the pearl of great price. I am Saint Germain, guardian of the violet flame. Think for a moment, open your palms again, embrace the light, embrace the violet flame. The light is intense now, and that intensity you will feel. There are times that intensity is too intense for the human being. Draw yourself back, lay on the earth, be with nature. This becomes more challenging as there is less nature to be with on your planet. But find the spaces in nature. Sit outside in the dark of the evening and let the stars twinkle. Find the stars through the layers of smog, through the layers of uh, crap around the planet. Find their energy and pierce. let that energy pierce your heart, pierce your third eye, pierce your consciousness. Find the energy in water, waves, and trees. Cast aside your technological stuff for some periods during the day and go out in nature. I am Saint Germain, guardian of the violet flame. I am Saint Germain, guardian of the violet flame. Turning the palms up again, just go ahead and hold the uh, 
pointer finger and the thumb together, palms open up around the heart chakra. Go ahead and tone nine times. Visualize the violet flame however you would, moving through your body, clearing out any residue of doubt in yourself, of doubt in your spiritual nature, of doubt in your divine. That may take longer to manifest itself in your physical beliefs, but release beliefs that might in the physical form is more powerful than love. Try to allow those beliefs to leave on these tones as you draw the violet flame through your body. Ten times will work. I am Saint Germain. Um, um, And so we are at the summer solstice, half a year into, or halfway point, into this year of 2018. And we've seen a lot in the physical plane. St. Germain, Archangel Michael, they are with us. The guides and guardians are with us. It's a subtle energy, a subtle vibration. You must go find it in the silence within yourself. To reach it at times, you must go through the noise within your mind. Breath will calm it, will train it to relax, to let go. And then you go through the sorrow within the heart and the emotions, the feelings. And after a while, you can just see those feelings with equanimity. You can look at them. You can balance. You can be. Part of the challenge now is not to push away feeling bad, to try to stay with it, and to stay with it in balance, to recognize that what you just saw or what you just heard or what frightened you, scared you, brought you pain, what pain you feel in yourself, you can be with, and you can be with it in a powerful way. You can be your own lighthouse and your beacon. You can be with it as you connect with spirit and your guides and guardians. And so perhaps you chant your way through those feelings. Not try to push them away, simply being with them, breathing with them, and watching them transform. This time, so much I have been seeing this gearing up of the intensity, these darker waves of energy in the fourth dimension and these lighter waves that are moving faster and faster. The rapid, the rapid movement of both these energies is very intense. And like I think it was St. Germain said, it's like these big giant thunderbolts and giant claps of, of thunder and giant lightning bolts are just kind of being thrown around, you know, in the etheric planes. And we're feeling it energetically. And so you have to be careful of yourself. You have to love yourself enough and accept your divine nature enough to nurture and nourish it. Give yourself some time out. There's a pattern that a lot of you have of pushing through something, of forcing yourself. You know, you need time out. You need space for your feelings and your process. You need time with a tree, time with some leaves blowing, time with the blue sky, clouds, the waves rolling. Whatever it is that gets you out in nature, that's part of the beauty of summertime, is that you can be out more. Get yourself on the earth. Breathe. 
train your mind to let the worries go so you can you take that breath and follow it to your divine nature feel the speck of it start to move through your bloodstream your energy field change the chemistries in your body bring them through make that connection in looking at it lately and seeing it and recognizing that it's very easy to get pulled into energies you may need to be a little bit more isolated, be a little bit more selective about where you put yourself. You know, maybe not around a lot of place where there's lots of people drinking alcohol, because guess what that does? It opens up their chakras, and when they're open chakras, those little bugs collect. Just like you see flies collecting around garbage, the negative energy will collect around open chakras that aren't paying attention. Open in the sense that they're flopped open because they're affected by alcohol or drugs or something that just makes you not care or not be aware. So important to be a little bit more um, discerning about the company you keep and the places you put your body and the stuff you put into your body. That's, that's very important at this time. As I was watching it and watching some of the things like the suicides and the mass um, patterning of shootings and some of these different acts that seem so um, random and so heinous and so terribly sad, um, if I look at it energetically, and each one is different, trust me on this, but on a large scale I can tell you that there is a pattern of if you're constantly moving away from your sorrow and pretending it doesn't exist, if you're constantly jumping out of your body into engaging yourself with shallow interactions with other people or meaningless sex or meaningless drugs or alcohol or parties or whatever, you're opening yourself more and more up to being out of your body. And then things can get collected towards that pain that you're not paying attention to and cause something to happen that you might not have actually consciously wanted to happen. So in light of some of these suicides or some people that just snap and start trying to release the pain and sorrow within them by splattering out energy or guns or whatever, um, you know, a lot of that tends to not because they're evil, it tends to be because they have denied their selves, they have denied their true feelings, they have moved away from their, um, their own pain, they've gone into oblivion in a sense. So it's important to kind of understand that, and how can we change that? Well, you you immediately have to think of the ripple in the pool. So when you drop the pebble in the pool, it spreads out, but it spreads from that central point. You are the central point of light, and the light will spread out of you if you work with that center, work with the things immediately around you. If you're so worried about what's going on in the world that you're snapping at your children um, or you're not being fully conscious or you're being angry or you're, you know, being scared or you're, you're not being present to what's going on right around you, you're not really benefiting anybody and, in fact, you're feeding that negative energy. So keep that in mind. I remember when I first woke up and I was doing a lot of work and a lot of group work, there was this sort of feeling of euphoria in it when we get together and we breathe and so on and so forth. And I remember one of my teachers cautioning us one time and saying, when the light gets light, the dark gets darker. And I've thought of that in different stages when I've seen us go through a portal and go into a next level of ascension, so there's a real movement in consciousness. It almost seems like there's this giant movement in negativity at the same time. Well, just remember it's balancing out. Don't give it, um, don't feed it. And to not feed it takes a tremendous amount of courage and discipline to connect, to keep connecting, to keep breathing, to keep coming back into your center, and to work from your center out. You're going to be a much more powerful beacon of light, a much more powerful pillar of light, a much more powerful lighthouse, however you want to see it, if you're keeping your, if you're stoking your own fire, so to speak, if you're keeping your own violet flame moving through your body, if you're breathing, and that's what the world needs now. So keeping that in mind, um, we've got another half a year. I posted on uh, Facebook, Wisdom Word page, a link again to the 
fear not if you're not doing it. It seems to be extremely helpful for those of us who are. So the fear not invocation, it's also, if you just go to the Wisdom Words site, go to Wisdom Words, which is our blog. So across the top, there's two rows, and it's on the top row. Wisdom Words, just hit it. It'll take you to the blog. If you look at the right side in the archive, you'll see where the um, fear not invocation is. So suggest that. I suggest using... You know, flower remedies, vibrational help, toning, yoga, whatever your practice is. Mm-hmm.